recording. Okay, we got a friggin' decision on this one that decides who you get. The seed nerds, well, it doesn't, but it helps decide shit. And it'll be, we'll work with Angelica to be good friends, so we'll get that robot and she'll kiss us, I guess. So, uh, let's go! So, a few bumps and bruises, nothing uh, much though, so everyone's still in one piece. Uh, the Zoid guys and the Gainer guys are kicking, like, causing a fuss about uh, being on the moon. Because uh, they've got robots, but they don't, ha like, they never had a space program on their world. So, uh, Sayaka and uh, friends are like, hey, chill out, being in space ain't that big a deal. Loads of people live in space. So, Garrus and the Karma guys are going to have to um, plan our next move. There's lots of EM interference, so it's impossible to tell if this moon's actually the right one by just calling down our base, but it's fine. Uh, Lulu uh, can't say that the interference is deliberate, but whatever the cause, the entire moon seems to be like covered in EM fields strong enough to isolate it radio-wise from the outside world. And it's uh, so severe that Lulu can't even see where it's coming from. But uh, Angelica's uh, Sirius should be shielded well enough to track it down. So Misty's gonna tag along for support, and Shieldy's gonna tag along just cause. Uh, just you know, I mean, you can't leave one of them alone, right? Uh, most of the other mechs aren't really airtight, so they're not going anywhere for a while. And uh, G Kenji's like, wait, wait a minute, what? What do, you, what do you mean? What do you mean not going? What do you mean they're not airtight? You just fight in space. But um, even if made uh, airtight, um, stuff like Godinar won't be uh, won't measure up compared to like actual spacefaring dudes like Cosmo Basis, Cosmo Driver. Only a few uh, other units, uh, King Gainer and uh, Dan of Thursday, should be able to join right away. And uh, Dan is mostly contingent on Van saying he's in the mood, which mostly apparently is based on him not wandering around and getting murdered because the ship's really dangerous. Fucking Monko, I love Monko a lot. Um, Shizuru is uh, big on gossip right away though and uh, wonders if it's best to let Mist and his two would-be girlfriends go on the same mission. Yeah, there you go. And uh, Garrus is like, um, I believe uh, in Mr. and Angelica at least aren't the ones to let personal emotions get in with their mission. But uh, I don't know about that Sheldon, she's a wild card. But uh, Garrus has delegated uh, responsibility for Sheldon to Mist, so uh, he doesn't have to deal with it. <laughs> Uh, back in the Darius verse, Mysterious Friender Man is in touch with Mysterious Commander, and uh, not good news. Uh, they can't believe the Daiku Mario ended up on the moon, and that wasn't what he was doing. Uh, he's like, uh, he's like, as you know, boss, a, uh, a rookie like me is not allowed to work the gates. And then the general is like, yes, but also you must be well aware of the general plan to have the Darius army get rid of the Daiku Mario. There's no reason. There's no way that I or my assistant would do this, so basically, neither like neither Lackey nor Commander fully believe the other that they they're like mm, you say you didn't do it, but mm, we didn't do it. But eventually, the Commander's like maybe it was just an accident. An, an accident? Wait, an accident? Well, he's like yeah, it could just be an accident. The gate device has been acting up lately because of all the mass teleportations interfering with it. And then Lackey Man is like mm, I don't know. Uh, it just that seems weird. Um, but um, he's satisfied that the moon will keep the Daikumari busy for a, a little bit, for at least long enough for Darius and Jamal forces to take over. Uh, 
<laughs> Beastman says, hang on now, being airtight and good becomes a problem. They could all go underwater a few stages. Like, did they run out of duct tape? I think maybe they did. I think maybe they did. Like, they're shitty in water though, right? So maybe that's why they're shitty in water, because they're all swimming along, trying to keep their cockpits above... Um, sea level? The, um, the surface? Uh, yeah, but um, Commander Man is also confident that um, Daikimaru can't threaten the Lunar base, and even if they find it, then they'll take out the Daikimaru personally. Can't have the evil plan disrupted. And Phase 2, there he says, Phase 2 is uh, going to be begin once the Earth's taken over. And that means uh, the Commander better fix the goddamn gate device. So here we are in the mess hall, uh, in the world where the uh, Overmen came from. Uh, lunar travel is something that, that only the very well read, like Anna, would even know about from reading uh, the old history books from before the Cataclysm. And uh, and uh, they say that like, in their current modern times, uh, space flight is unthinkable. And then we're like, uh, but Dan, uh, his like. Dan of Thursday always comes when Van calls it from his satellite cradle, even in the Darius verse. Uh. Uh, Gadved wants to explain to Van how it works, but he's forgotten. In any case, it's up to Anna to uh, keep everybody calm about how worthy the Vacuum Mario is in space and to how we're going to get home. But while we're sitting around, um, getting on each other's nerves, we could get our sit shit ready for space. The Prospector J Zero G Combat has got a uh, gainer out of his room and real excited. He's like, just imagine all the new gaming moves I could discover by fighting weightless. And uh, Sarah's like, you fucking serious? Well, is serious? We could all die. We could just drift out into nowhere. But uh, Gainer's got the... Uh, positive thinking going and uh, he's like no way would any of this happen if we uh, um, hadn't joined the exodus so this is pretty good right he's worried about how he's gonna rescue Cynthia and he thinks being positive is the only way that, that that's gonna work so Carmen says that um, she and the others will uh, sit still and have some tea uh, and then Joshua's like I can't imagine you sitting still and uh, drinking tea Carmen and she's like well how about I just fucking punch you instead He's like, ooh, whoops. Like, never gonna get a clue, this fucking kid. Never gonna get a clue. Meanwhile, Mysterious Commander Man here is apparently called, uh, Espair. And, uh... Look at this fucking wild dude. So, uh, yeah, the dude on top is Espair. It's like, uh, S... Yeah, Esperu. So, uh, Esper, and one of his subordinates tells him that the Ziggurat is ready to be transported, and Esper tells him to hurry the fuck up. That thing should be, uh, should enable the invaders to topple Earth in three days flat. The subordinate's like, should we test it? And, um... And then Esper is like, sure, let's test it by executing, uh, the, um, Virtualoid spy uh, that Mars had um, snooping around. We've got the goddamn virtual on nerds uh, showing up now. And he's like, what was uh, Virtualoid even doing in this world? So like only the three people cooperating with him are able to freely come and go from the Mars home plane. And that item is also under his people's total control. Weird stuff keeps happening. There is all sensitive spots. And this is uh, the Wriggling Shadow, part one. Scenario 12. Takes a while for Angelica to pinpoint the emission sources and they seem to be moving around, but uh, everything on MX is working, right? 
Um, she spots the signature of a stealth system, and uh, which is much like the Daitomeri's uh, illusion protect. And uh, Angelica is like, where the fuck's it coming from? And uh, Sheldon points out that um, Miss never taught her enough to be. If he's like, it's like what? Sheldon's like, I want to help, but you never taught me anything that is useful in a situation like this. All you taught me uh, is how it feels like to be fight and to be in love with someone. And uh, then, and Miss Angelica like, Jesus, shut up! This is serious. We're on duty. And uh, they say that Angelica's normally in tactical command when she and Mr. are working together. So, chill out, Sheldia. But Angelica and Sheldia are going at each other and Mr. is like, jeez, 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 jeez. Calm out. Just, holy shit. And Angelica, even knowing that Sheldia is provoking her on purpose, um, yeah, she still jumps for it. Uh, Mist explains the stealth system stuff, and uh, Sheldia says, Do it in small words so I can understand. And he says, Okay, this signature that Angelica detected means that someone nearby is trying to hide something. And it may be if that person's responsible for getting us teleported here, that'd be pretty good. And But the question does uh, then rise, Why would they teleport their enemies next to something they don't want us to find? And if the enemy wanted to set a trap, then why would they use this uh, stealthier stealth system? And uh, never mind that the moon wide the EM interference is suspicious. But why use deliberately like why deliberately use stealth and then paint a big sign saying something's fucked up here? Uh, it points to the stealth people and the EM people being uh, different. And if all Angelica knows the teleporter, could, like the person who's teleported his, could be neither of them. Or maybe the same organisation, but with a trader, or there's a malfunction, but there's no data for us to pick out any of these scenarios. And suddenly, dimensional distortion appears. 12 o'clock. Flash a light. And it uh, reveals the platoon of the same robots that uh, attacked uh, Atrium. And they've got uh, Sergeant Hatter uh, all chained up and they're shooting him a lot. But uh, they're not actually like doing any damage. He's just like, ah, jeez, this friggin' hurts! It's like, what's that? Why are they shooting that robot? And she was like, dang, I can't uh, stand this dude being tormented. And then everyone's like, Sheldia, calm down. He's like, no, I'm gonna rescue him. He's like, hey, bad dudes, stop! And then uh, the ziggurat shoots her. Oh. Uh -oh. Okay, and then it's a rush over to Sheldia by yourself, or work with Angelica. And I think Angelica is on all the routes we want to do anyway, so even if we did work out doing it the right way to get the right girl, but then the ending where he's not sure he picked the right girl, we'll just go with Angelica, because Sheldia's fucking irritating. <laughs> like, that's where I'm at on Sheldia right now. Angelica, help me get Sheldia. Your thing. Angelica, let's go. Um, so Sheldia, she's like, my mech's fine. But it's like, lady, it's pretty damaged, so we send you back to Daikumaru. Um, And I think Mr. is like, I got Angelica to help me get you over here. So she's going to like, Sheldia, leave it, I'm Sheldia, fuck you. Uh, yeah, so what do I do if the bad guys attack? And Mr. is just like, hey, focus on defending yourself. And we're going to blow up SPS forces. So while this choice is like mechanically worse, because we should have just, like, if we wanted to be cool, we would have just done... 
the, the two of us instead of all joined up and garbage, but this is fine too. I wonder why in his terrain rankings. Get stuck in. But it's virtual on time. So, Mr. Like, dang it, attack it, my friends. You're about to get a bunch of my mad shit on you. I'm angry as hell. But check out this dude. A farm to the hatter. He's good. The hunter, fucking the virtual on dude. He just looks like. Look at him. He's obviously just Optimus Prime with a really big hat. Like he's got he's Optimus Prime with a fedora. But I mean, they can't all be winners, can they? Okay, well she's like fully healed now anyway. Leave him alone, fuckface. Oh, big neck. That poor robot! Oh no, he's launched some fucking drones and now he's gonna wriggle his feet at us. Maybe she's got a shield, right? support though because I used guard on him so target lock on We come in, it's like, wow, fine, his face is weird. And this is like, guys, these are the ones who fucked up our planet. Uh, Gary says that a frontal assault is the only way to work here, and he's like, uh, you know what, let's rescue that dude. And then eventually he's like, yep, let's go assist the mist and everyone be careful because if uh, these guys could destroy whole planets then uh, they might have some tricks up their sleeves. As long as people are on the ground, uh, then they'll do much better than being in space. If they're shitty in space. I mean, she's better in space than she's on the ground, so that doesn't work. Yeah. 
gain is fine, because he's a magic baby. It is the get ready robot. He's gonna have a good time. His hat on and he's ready to go. Leave the Haller alone of the hat that he's getting. Even if he's up for a spine with me or You didn't miss nothing from me, I said most of the time uh write a dinner message to a guy. Angelica's getting sweet XP for this too, so she, yeah, like, he's getting 15 and she's getting 130 out of this, so that ain't bad, right? Is she out of support twins yet? No, yeah. Oh, she is good. That saves me having to hit the button over and over again. Uh, the mission is we gotta blow up all these guys and rescue the Hatter. Because his life sucks right now. So we gotta beat up all the virtual on noids. Actually, they're small too, right? Yeah, so. He's gonna be pissed. Evolt! Evolt! Okay, so you can just switch between the two. Yeah, so I mentioned earlier that like, there's different um, movement noises. That's fucked up. Uh, we don't know, we don't know what nobody's doing just yet. You, don't, you know what, I don't want her over there. I don't want neither of these dudes there right now. She also got fucking murdered though, so... Fight too, we will rescue that sick robot. Garbage accuracies because nobody's good in space. Gonna have to start putting people on the ground. That's nicer.
down the cliff is hard. I think it seems really good. Things with guy in it, they're good. So I should probably do something about that. working Feels like I'm surviving a lot of 60 to 90 percent moves that I shouldn't be. Yeah, we need to find Wayfen. I just need him to survive one more turn and then we've made it.
Ah, 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 I can't take much more of this. Oh, he's doing a fucking map attack. Well, they all dodged, but he got the big man. These guys. Just gotta have the Darius first, but not what we wanted, and it sucks. We have to start defending with the big man. Guys, you can't kill shit ever. <gasps> he got attack combo. Holy shit, he's good. I think Sarah takes over as the captain first, but I'm pretty sure Lulu will get to the job eventually. Close to being dead. I'm an idiot. Get him, Monko. I love Monko a lot. Mad as hell about everything. Attack! Oh well, they got blown up. So, that's gonna cost us a little money. Though. 
Because her morale's only 128! What's even the fucking point of having this shit? Monko does look like Kaido from a scale, but Monko's also a lady. <laughs> you wouldn't tell from the face. <laughs> is there a reason that Gator's not in his face? Because he'd look at Monko's face in their chest and he's like, Ryoma! But wait, I think the reason that Gator's not in this game is because they all died of the uh, Godena disease. The Godena, the deal with Godena is that um, everybody's got a disease. Like, that's a twist, everybody has a disease. Um, they're called the Insania virus. Um, women are immune to it, mostly. Um, like, there's one of the lady Godenar pilots who isn't. Um, and one of the male Godenar pilots is immune to it, because he's a pervert and he's weird. But basically, the more hot-blooded you are, um, the higher the chance there is that you'll just turn into a monster. And, um, obviously fighting the monster and being a super robot man fighting the monster gets you pretty hot blooded. But, uh, so I'm pretty sure the Ghetto Boys aren't in this game just because they died of the disease. But, uh, we did the guy. And, uh, Mrs. like, where the heck's the commander? And Shodia is like, let's. I gotta help the little robot man. So uh, she repairs him, and he goes, "Oh my god!" He goes, "Thank you." <laughs> thank you very much. That's a uh, hot boy. He just says, "Thank you very much." <laughs> like the guy, like the guy, he says, he's extremely grateful for the assist. He just goes, "Thank you." Very much. We did it, and then um, Hutter um, uh, warns that bad guys are going to be back soon. And Gash is like, Alright, everybody, we need to go back to the valley. I passed on the way here. It's a pretty good place to hide out. Let's go get stuck in a fucking ditch. Let's look at this higher face. That's my face all the time. So Hata um Hata says I am Hata I am Hata I'm Hutter at Mars! <laughs> Not me, but how, like, he's just actually just speaking fucking English. Uh, but he's like, I'm a Mars agent of Virtualoid! And everyone's like, what the fuck is that? So like, I guess he's from another, just another crazy world. But, and he's like, how did you get here? He's like, well, not in a puff of white light. Um, and they're like, well, you're gonna get out your hutter, son, please, uh, as a Mars agent, can you leave your mech? And he's like, no, I'm not, nope, I'm not willing to, uh, I'm not, I'm not getting out the mech. And, uh, when they're like, why, he says, uh, extra special, top secret, can't tell ya. Um, and uh, they say that his uh, speech is difficult to un uh, difficult to understand, but uh, Lulu and the others uh, eventually get that he has seen a flash of light, but he didn't get her in that way. And it revealed a bunch of bad guys with uh, weapons that Hutter is... Uh, he heard they're destined to be teleported to the Earth. Let's 
you saying here? I'm, uh... Something. Something, I don't know. But basically, uh... Everyone's like, let's go blow up the, uh, enemy base. Uh, but... I'm a special G I'm a special secret <laughs> I'm a special um Yeah, I'm a special secret That's this fucking guy. He's wild. Fucking wild. But yeah, he's like, that must be the enemy base. He's like, let's go. Uh, and everyone's like, let's go bop it. But then the reasonable people, like Garrett's like, no, we should. Uh, how about we uh, take the base over instead and use some of its transdimensional teleport deals to send the visitors home? And Hatter is like, hell yeah! Uh, Hatter is like, yeah, hell yeah, I'll help. But my radio transmitter's busted, so I'll, uh, so, uh, follow me. And he just walks along outside waving at them. <laughs> yes! ka -ching! Let's -a go! <laughs> Fucking the Hatter. Let's replace Hatter with Hatter, so I stopped doing that. Kaching, let's go!